what up you're watching Goddick View I'm Josie and uh, today it's gonna be a makeup video I am by no means a professional I am barely passing as it is I wanted to do a Valentine's Day inspired uh, look even though it's already past that but my friend gave me eight back lipsticks uh, that she's not using anymore so I thought it would be fun to do a look and then try all of them to see uh, which of them fit me the best. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using is uh, by Nomad Cosmetics. It's Verona Amore e Morte uh, and obviously its uh, inspiration was Romeo and Juliet. Like if you look at the first part of it then that's right up my alley. I really love pinks and reds. But if you check out the other side, the death side, uh, then these are really, really dark ones. I'm very intrigued by them, uh, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to use them well. But let's go and see what happens. Because I'm not sure how much uh, kickback uh, they will have. I'm just uh, going to quickly uh, prime my eyes and we're going to do the uh, eye makeup first. This primer is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's uh, quite a light one, as you can see. So if you want to do a light makeup, uh, then maybe this is not the, the best. But uh, because I'm going to go uh, dark today, I think it's going to be okay. I did my brows really quickly off camera because I want to see how much uh, space I have uh, to work with. And I'm going to start with uh, love and just put it basically all over my lid. Definitely has kickback. Oh, but it's so pretty. It looks like you're using like a classical red lipstick. I have hooded eyes, so this is always a bit annoying. Next, I'm not sure if I should do the quill or if I should just go in with dark. I think I'll go in with the, the dark and then hope for the best. Mm -hmm. I think this was the right decision. And I'm trying not to bring it out too much because I want uh, like a more round shape today. Next, I'm going to do the poison, which is like this... Uh, dark blue to give more mystery. Ooh. Have to be very careful with this. It definitely has fallout. So far both the purple and blue has had the fallout. So I can't believe how fast this has been like uh, it is so pigmented but it also blends together really well I'm not sure if you can tell uh, from the video but I can tell in person and uh, now I'm just going to have to do the shiny part but I'm not sure which one uh, I'm going to like I'm going to leave this one for another time uh, but I'm not sure which one I should do from here if I'm really trying to go for the like the uh, Valentine's Day look, I think maybe I should use Romeo here. So uh, let's uh, try to do that. I'm going to take a flat brush and see how it works uh, without me spraying it with uh, product. Eh. Okay, I'm a bit disappointed with this. A bit better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now we're now we're talking. God, it's so bad. What the hell? Okay, I had to literally scratch it to get any product out, but it is pretty now that it's out. But is it worth it? Let's try to get this a bit more smoother and put some uh, color under my eyes as well. This is my face. It still looks really pale, but that's how it is. Uh, let's do the liner. Ah. Uh. 
I bring all the drum mama mama. <laughs> this is intense. I low key love it. This is the uh, finished uh, look. And what do you think? Uh, seven of the uh, lipsticks are this uh, classic MAC bullet and then there's one that is a liquid lipstick. I think I'll leave this one to the last because I think that will be the hottest one uh, to remove. But uh, let's start with the best one. My lips are dry. What else is new? And this is called Please Me and it's this uh, very neutral uh, shade of uh, pink. I imagine it's very popular with people. I'm not gonna line my lips because I don't usually do that and it would take too much time. First one, please me. It's very pink and a bit too neutral for me. But I think that with this uh, makeup it's uh, quite good because it's uh, not uh, overpowering. What do you think? The second one is called uh, Giddy and I, for my untrained eye it seems like it's going to be uh, the same but I think the finish is Luster. The first one was matte so let's check it out. Oh it's more subtle. Yeah it's definitely more shinier. It almost has like a light silvery tint. It feels a lot better on the lips than the first matte one. I'm not mad at this. I think it's quite nice. Third one is called Brave and it's a third type of finish so it's a satin finish. The color is a bit more, I just, not grayish but uh, yeah not as rosy and I really quite like this uh, at least uh, in here. Ah, oh. it's again a bit dry, but the color is really nice. Oh, I really like this one. I feel like the third, uh, I, I feel like the three have been quite similar, but I think this has the best finish. It's uh, not too slippery, it's not too matte. I always have like the NYX uh, satin lipsticks as well. It's a nice color. Uh, in uh, the camera, it seems uh, it doesn't come across as it does in real life, but I feel like this is my favorite and I can see myself uh, wearing it uh, every day. Now, let's check out the crazy colors. We're gonna start with uh, Show and Tell and it's another matte one and this is a nice teal color. I uh, used to really, really love these. It's not the, that in fashion anymore, but I still love it, especially if I'm just doing a look, I'm not going out. Not that there's anything wrong uh, with wearing it out. This is not bad at all. Oh, I really love it. I, I guess I should have some other colors uh, for my eye look for this to really shine and pop, but. This one is called Deep With Envy and it's a matte one again and this is more of uh, a green. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. I've had something like the previous one but this is a complete new territory for me. Hopefully it will look good. I can't believe how it looks like. I really love this. Like, oh. This is such a great color. Oh I love it. I want to do a makeup look that completely goes with it. It's very, like, it's definitely green, but it's not, like, obnoxious green. It's, like, <laughs> I want to say classy. It's not classy, but I really love this. I love it. This is my favorite by far. I spent, like, 10 minutes taking pictures with the last uh, lipstick color. But we are going even darker and it's a mean green machine and if you look at it, it doesn't seem that green. But if I swatch it, it doesn't seem that green either. Oh, it looks like the kind of thing that uh, soldiers put uh, on their face to blend in with the woods. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I think I would just prefer black 
because this is really, really bad for your teeth. It, I mean, it look, makes them look really yellow. I think it's interesting that there's something else inside that is not like full black. But if I would have this kind of look, I think I would go with full black. So I don't hate it, but I don't think it's my favorite. Also, this went on really slippery compared to the other matte ones. I had to check if it's really matte, but it is. Or maybe it's just my lips uh, getting really soft from taking everything off and putting on, uh, putting them back on again. I like it. I, I like the color, but maybe just not for this. But I'll definitely use it again. Silver spoon, and it looks like that. I'm not sure if it's going, it, if it is a topper or do you wear it by itself. So let's try to wear it by itself. This is. In person, I know this is like looking really uh, reflective uh, for you, but in person it has really nice mix of like uh, pinkish sparkles inside. But I feel like it's the prettiest when you're looking at it very, very closely. But from a distance, it's a bit Tin Man. Let me just uh, take it off, uh, try on the last one, which is a like a dark blue, and then we'll try to put the, the silver one on top of it. This is, it's not matte, it's not just liquid, it's retro matte liquid lip color, young attitude. Let's have a look. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's like the one when you had chicken pox and you had to put the something on them and it was this color let's see Ooh. oh this is so thick and nice it goes on so well i have never tried the mac lipstick uh, like liquid lipsticks i love liquid lipsticks god damn Ooh. Oh my god, I feel like this suits me the best. I don't know, uh, leave me the number down below uh, what color you think suits me the best, but... Oh, I'm feeling myself. I really like the other green one. I think it's quite similar, like this and this. Oh, I think this is a bit more blue, but when you put it on your lips, I think the effect is the same. I Again, I do prefer to put liquid lipsticks uh, on to the uh, like regular ones, but it's because I'm just more used to it. But, oh, this is so gorgeous. I'm not gonna put this on uh, here. I'm sure it will look really good when I put it on like uh, the pinkish ones from uh, the beginning of the video because I think it will enhance it, but I don't want to ruin this because I want to take pictures and I think like this is uh, my favorite uh, one. Makeup, uh, I, from the pinks, I liked the brave one, the one with a uh, satin finish. Uh, this is really nice. I see myself using it uh, every day. Uh, then I like Deep With Envy, the uh, green one. And uh, then, of course, the liquid one, uh, which was uh, Young Attitude. I did enjoy the, um, uh, like, the really dark green one as well. And the blue was fun. It, basically, I like the dark colors. <laughs> but I'm really happy. Oh, my God. Thank you, baby, for gifting it to me. I'm so happy. If you want to check her out, her uh, account on Instagram is I Only Go For God Care. She does really, really great. Uh, projects like she does all types of art I definitely uh, suggest you check her out and I'm gonna just take a lot of pictures with this thank you so much for watching I hope you had at least a bit fun leave a like if you liked it and uh, see you next time bye I just realized I forgot to put uh, highlight on so bye